Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with the Sun and Moon Burning Shadows Elite Trainer Box. So we've been through everything. We've been through a whole booster box. We've been through the triple packs. And we have, of course, been through the theme decks. We still have a few items still to come, and they're coming out in hopefully around about, I think it's a week and five days, if I'm being specific. So they'll be on the channel for the... Um, probably at that point we'll probably get all of them up on the channel that day and then that will finish off burning shadows however it's not going to finish it off overall because we still have a ton of cards to open to try and get those awesome cards from the set and hopefully this elite trainer box is going to help us maybe by pulling i'm hoping at least one gx maybe a full art maybe a secret rare who knows we will have to see it could have nothing and maybe just one hollow but if it's a new hollow Okay, fair enough, but I'm hoping it's something else than just a hollow. So, this is a pretty sweet Elite Trainer box. It's a sort of, um, I don't know, it's sort of like a navy coloured black, really. Uh, it's got Necrozma on the front here, which is pretty sweet indeed. This is our eighth Elite Trainer box, and we've opened all of them on the channel. But this is number eight. So this is going to be very, very interesting. We've had some, we've had some really good luck, actually, with some of the uh, previous sets and everything. Um, but we're just going to have to uh, see how this one goes now. So let's rip the plastic open here. Let's see what we can get from this. Come on, Elite Trainer Box. Come on, Elite Trainer Box. Give us something good. Give us something good. So plastic off to the side there. Then, obviously, as normal, slide this out, and inside we have our cardboard sheet, and if you uh, go around it the right way, Tapu Fini, Ho-Ho, Necrozma, and Marshadow. I really am hopeful that I can, I mean, you can split these, because there's, like, um, really, like, basic sticky uh, material up here on the, on the top. Hoping to get them all framed, because they do look really, really cool, and it'd be awesome to get them all framed up and uh, looking pretty sweet. So, of course, we get our player's guide here, some additional bits of uh, cardboard, which we don't need. Sliding this open, oh my gosh, what a mess. But, of course, we have our packs here, eight being uh, the amount here. There is the code card. That was close. Uh, you almost had a free code card. There is our uh, card sleeves here, with Necrozma on them. Very, very cool. Very nice indeed, and actually, because I've actually got them to hand, and they're not actually open, there is the uh, the Coco Sleeves. Quite a nice comparison shot between the two of them, very, very cool indeed, very, very nice. Liking them a lot. I almost knocked over my coin collection there. But uh, we got the sleeves, we get a pack of energies here, and we get some dividers here, we get uh, four in particular, all of them with Necrozma on the front, and I think, there you go, Burning Shadows on the back, very nice in dividing up all the cards, and also if you've got a load of cards and it's filled up the whole thing, put them at the end, I'm definitely saying put them at the end, because it stops any cards from getting crushed when the sides come down. Sometimes you'll notice, if you've got an Elite Trainer box, and you guys might be able to comment and let me know, when you have one, and you've got a whole thing full of cards. Maybe you don't put the cards in here, but for me I do. Um, you'll notice when you close it, sometimes the thing doesn't close, and that's because the cards are sort of stacked up here and they're stopping it, and as you keep crushing it, you're crushing the card. Putting them dividers on the end, obviously I know they are used in the middle as well, will help as well in uh, stopping that. And uh, yeah, but very, very cool indeed. Um, let's just show off the dice here. Got a sort of, uh, is that a sort of necrozma? Yeah, it's a sort of necrozma looking uh, dice. You can see the, uh, where's the big one? Where's the big one? Yeah, it looks a bit like the spikes on his back and everything. That's pretty sweet. Nice black dice, no see through ones as, uh, as before. Of course, you get a GX, a poison, and a burn counter. Our eight packs, which are right here. You do get a code as well, which does give you something pretty sweet. I don't know whether it's eight codes. Or in my, oh no, I know what it gives you. It gives you the sleeves and everything. So you can put the sleeves on uh, on your Pokemon on the online game. So we'll place everything back in the box there. That's what I'm on about. There we go. Put that to the back there. We've got our player guide here. Now basically, if you haven't seen any of these before, they'll basically go through some of the GXs, if not all of them, and they'll sort of give you a brief description as to what they do and how they work. 
Um, it also gives you some, some good combinations of cards to use as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then you've got the full list of all of the cards here. There's plenty of GXs to be uh, to be had in this set. It really is such an amazing set. Such an awesome set indeed. One Dragon Type, no, sorry, two Dragon Types, I got on uh, Neuvern GX. And then as we come around to this page, oh, this is the godly page right here. This is everyone's dream. Oh, it's beautiful. Amazing. Believe it or not, we have three of these trainers already. I'm not going to say which ones in particular, but we have three. We also have one Rainbow Rare. I won't say which one in particular. We don't have any Secret Rares. Who knows, that might be about to change today. I'd love, I'd just love it to pull a troll secret rare, rare fairy energy. <laughs> That'd be so, so cool. That'd be so awesome. But very nice there. Very nice to have a little look through and uh, check out what is going on there. But you guys are probably here for one reason in particular, and that is to open these packs in particular. So let's bring the camera up a little bit here. And then we'll also tilt the camera. Oh, here we go, guys. Are we ready for this? We are starting with a Necrozma. Come on, eight packs. We sure can get something. Something nice. Something beautiful. Something heavenly. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting with a Water Energy, a Simipore, Noctowl, Electrobuzz, Panseer, Cutie Fly, Panpaw, Pikachu, Krogunk, Kiawe Reverse, and a Shenotic. Very nice indeed. So I'll plonk them to the back there. Two monkeys in particular. And our next one is going to be Marshadow. The Marshadow bring us any luck. Let's have a little look in here. See what we can see. One, two, three, four. Bring them to the front. Spin that around. Hey, hey! It's our favourite troll, the Fairy Energy. <laughs> Wick, or Wicky, Escape Rope, Boofaland, Stuffle, Inkay, Duskull, Tynamo, Cutie Fly, Reverse Charmander, and a Crabominable. That is not bad. A reverse Charmander. I think that's our first Charmander, which is pretty sweet. So two packs down, and we're on nothing at the moment. We have got a Reverse PLA, which is uh, not bad. Not bad. But... We've got something in here. We have got something. Somewhere in this box, there's got to be something beautiful. Steel-type energy, Rabombi, Soul Rock, Escape Rope, Ralts, Volpix, Hoot Toot, Ladybug, Mudbray, ooh, hello, a reverse rare Scoliopede. That Mudbray went flying. And an Araquanid. I love that artwork so much. It's such an awesome artwork. Wow, that is nice. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, here we go. Tapu Finny. What you got for us, mate? Come on. Bring home the goods. Bring home the goods. One, two, three, four. Boom. Hey. So we have a Fighting Energy. Oh, hello. Fighting Energy. A Rhydon. Electric. Boofaland. Morlol. Esper. Duskull. Oddish. Mudbray. Reverse Meowth, and a Beware. Mm -hmm -hmm. Very interesting. Another Mud Bay. Uh, uh, wow. Interesting. Come on. Come on, please. Number five, I think this is. Yeah, come on, there's got to be something. Got to be something. One, two, three, four. Bring this to the front. Spin that around. We're starting with... A Psychic Energy, Soul Rock, Wishful Baton, Mount Lana Killer, Panseer, Cutie Fly, Panpaw, Pikachu, Krogunk, Reverse Stuffle, and a Lucario Hollow. Well, I said I'd be okay with a Hollow, however, this is not a new one. This is our second Hollow for Lucario, but it's a pull nevertheless, and that can definitely go there. Reverse over to the side, and we're good to go on our sixth of eight packs. Come on, we've got to at least get one GX or something. Please. Please, please, please. One, two, three, and four. Bring them to the front, spin it around, and we have a lovely water energy. Wick, Wicky, Surviper, uh, Sophocles, Sock, 
Tomi Damaru, Wimpod, Loden Rattata, Magikarp, Reverse Tangela, and a Turtonator. Oh, this is getting desperate. This is getting desperate indeed. Come on, we've got to have something in these last two packs here. Please don't let it just be a hollow Lucario. That's going to be the worst box ever. Come on, please. One, two, three, four. Come on. You know you want to. Grass Energy, Wishful Baton, Metapod, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Horsey, Venipede, Sandy Gast, Molol, Crabrawler, Reverse Molol, and a Kiawe Full Art? <laughs> really? Really? Okay then, fair enough. You give me that Full Art Kiawe, that's no problem. That is absolutely no problem indeed. Very, very nice indeed. Very, very cool. Getting a full arc Yaoi there. Very, very useful card indeed. Wow, was not expecting that at all. We do pretty well for full art trainers, actually. I think uh, in the... Uh, what was it? Generations? Or was it Evolutions? It was Evolutions. Yeah, with the Charizard and the uh, Blastoise um, boxes. If you haven't seen them, go check them out, because that was uh, pretty interesting as well. Okay, so here we go. Last pack here. Coming up. Come on. No, you want to give me something. Lightning energy, Sophocles, bodybuilding dumbbells, Sibby Paw, Meowth, Crabrawler, Charmander, Sneasel, Glow and Grimer, Reverse, Glow and Raticate, uh, Ratatat, and a Toxicroak. Okay, so not a bad box in particular. We got a hollow and we got a full out trainer, which is pretty sweet indeed. Love that Kiawe artwork, it looks so, so cool. Such an awesome, awesome card indeed. Very, very nice. Super, super cool there. Wow. So, we haven't done bad. Uh, did we get any reverse rares? That is the main thing. I think we got one. Yeah, that was our reverse rare. That's Sophocles. Uh, Sophocles? Yeah, that definitely says Sophocles. Scoliopede. Wow. And anything in particular new here? No, we've sort of got everything from this side. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm 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 pretty happy. You know, I'm pretty happy. We've got another hollow and another full art Kiawe. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. Indeed, I shall leave it here for this video right here. If you guys have enjoyed, then make sure to hit the subscribe button below. This is not the end of Burning Shadows, believe me. I will intend to either get some more triple packs, as they are normally gods, or I will get some single packs, and we'll uh, continue to open them. Uh, there'll probably be quite a lot of uh, packages to open now, so uh, they might even include... Ooh, and Burning Shadows is coming out soon. No, it's already out, you silly moose. So if that does happen, I am sorry, but I recorded them way, way back. So, uh... <laughs> Apart from that, enjoy all those packages, and I'll make sure to try and dot in some Burning Shadows everywhere I can. Of course, uh, a week and five days, we'll also have the second unboxing for Burning Shadows with the remnants of the set. Some additional stuff. I might even throw some booster packs in there just to see if we can buy, uh, get any good stuff from that. But, we got a Lucario Hollow and a Kiawe Fallout from this one. Um, apart from that, I will actually leave this here, and I shall see you guys in the next video on the channel.